Welcome to the next in the series of short videos presented by the UCT Disability Service, Office for Inclusivity and Change. My name is Denise Oldham and I am the Direct Services Specialist in the Disability Service. My email is denise.oldham at uct.ac.za and I encourage you to be in contact with me if you have any questions about the contents of this video. I'd also like to acknowledge the Assist of Software Suppliers and UCT ICTS departments for software logos and technical information that appear in the video. In 2021, the UCT Disability Service would like to highlight a free assistive software that is available to UCT staff and students. And on this page, you can see a number of items that includes my study bar, Microsoft Office 365 dictation, Apple Mac dictation for Mac owners, otter.ai, read and write, and Grammarly. And that is going to be the focus of this short video. We'll start with my study bar. My study bar is free open source software. It is a tool which helps overcome challenges that students commonly experience with studying, reading and writing. It is a set of portable open source and freeware applications assembled into one convenient package. It is designed to support learners with literacy related difficulties such as dyslexia, but is available to all learners. It contains a number of free software items that fall under the heading planning, reading, writing, voice, vision, and extras. So for example, under planning, you have available XMind, which is mind mapping, the guide, which is organizing software, stickies, sticky notes, and a reading T-bar, which is screen masking, view bar, a screen ruler, SS overlay, which is screen tinting, and the AT bar, which is a text reader. Under writing, we have Bella Bolka, which is talking word processor, let me type, which is word prediction, and rapid typing, which is learn to touch type software. There's also Windows speech recognition, system font size changer, and extras such as Work Talk, which is text to speech reader, the ease of access panel, and the change visual style of desktop. So all in all, you can see that this one package contains many useful assistive technology devices. And to download the software, you go to the link on the page, which is www.callscotland.org.uk slash my study bar and do let us know how you enjoy using this program it has widely circulated amongst other tertiary institutions and as i say is free open source software the next software that we're going to look at is microsoft 365 inbuilt dictation this is speech to text software and is a free alternative to the Dragon Naturally Speaking program. Microsoft 365, which we have access to at UCT as UCT staff and students, has improved their inbuilt microphone dictation feature. Found on the toolbar in MS Word, it is very easy to use with both a headset and microphone and also without using a headset microphone. Dictation is a fast and easy way to convert speech to text on Microsoft Word, and it is a quick and easy way for your ideas to be written out if you need assistance with typing. You can also create drafts or outlines and capture notes. All you need is a microphone and a reliable internet connection. We have included a YouTube link so that you can see this in action, and we encourage you to all look at the toolbar in your Word program to find the dictate feature and to test this out. We have included a slide about Dragon Naturally Speaking, which is commercial software 
for those of you who are able to purchase the software yourselves, this isn't free software, but is one of the products that is most commonly recommended for persons who need assistance with dictation. It is voice recognition software. It allows you to speak into a microphone or headset attached to your computer to type what you are saying. You can create documents by speaking and the software learns your voice as you correct its dictation and becomes more accurate the more you use it. There is a full set of voice commands which ensure all actions can be undertaken using voice commands. At the UCT Disability Service, we have three Dragon single user licenses loaded onto PCs at the Disability Service Lab. And if you are interested, individual inquiries for personal purchase can be directed to the Edit Micro Company in Cape Town, and the link to their web page is included here, as well as a demonstration on YouTube for you to watch. For those of you who are Apple Mac users, there is the Apple Mac dictation feature, which is speech to text. To do this um, feature, you would enable dictation. You open the Apple menu, select system preferences, select keyboard, click on the dictation key, and then choose the enhanced dictation key if needed. So for those who are Mac owners, this is just another very useful assistive feature of the Mac, in addition to the Apple Voice feature, which allows you to have text to audio capacity. We've included a YouTube video for you to see the instructions, and um, we encourage all Mac owners to fully explore the assistive features on your device. The next program we're looking at is called otter.ai, and this is available for um, free link from the ICTS Cool Tools page. And Otter is a smart note-taking and collaboration app that records speech as text and enables you to search and share your voice conversations. Once you turn the app on, it will automatically start recording all the conversation around it as text. It recognizes and records different voices separately, making it ideal for recording meetings. Not only can you record your conversations with the app, you can upload your recordings from, for example, phone calls or video conferences. There is a keyword search function that enables you to move to specific areas of interest in the dialogue. So we've included a link to Otter. And also just to note that there are 600 minutes of free transcribing capacity available and therefore, there is, thereafter, there is a cost involved. We have found that the 600 minutes does prove very useful for students who need this support. 600 minutes per month, and then I understand that that is then refreshed in the following month. The Read and Write Literacy software is a great support for students. It is available for free download from the ICTS downloads page, and this is text-to-speech software. Persons with dyslexia and other um, specific learning disabilities really find this software useful, but it is available to all students. And you can see on the screen, we have an image of the Read and Write toolbar, which indicates the features available in the software. And that includes a dictionary feature, screen masking, Audio Maker, where you can make MP4s, talk and type, various highlighting capacities, and then of course the reading feature, which I think is the main use that we make of the software. There is a training video to help with reading, and then also to help with writing. And I encourage you to be in contact with me if you would like to download the software, I can send you more information about this. The last software that we are looking at is Grammarly, also available freely from the ICTS Cool Tools page. And this is writing enhancement software. It scans the text that you are typing, detecting mistakes made in grammar, spelling, 
punctuation, word choice, and style errors. It is available as a mobile app, as well as via plugins for Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. And in addition, covers all bases by offering apps which integrate with Microsoft Office and Windows. The Grammarly keyboard app for your phone checks your text as you write and indicates mistakes that can occur while typing on mobile devices. And just to note that if you are installing it on a computer, you'll have to temporarily disable the McAfee antivirus. To see Grammarly in action, we've included a YouTube link. And we warmly encourage everybody to look at the free software that we've included in this short video presentation. You can also be in contact with me to request a PDF document with all this information. And we hope that you have enjoyed this short presentation and hope you enjoy exploring the software that we featured. Thanks very much. Thanks for listening.